a huge. <laughs> So middle school, I feel I entered the stage in my life with a blindfold over my eyes, a blindfold made of ignorance to life, a blindfold made of unknowingly stumbling about to find who I am in this cobweb we call life. I know for a fact some of you can relate to me because I'm just like you, an old 14-year-old Tino. I fell into this moment in life, not expecting anything different or anything I hadn't experienced before. Actually. I wasn't expecting anything. I am surprised at who we have become, even as I write this. Middle school, from the outside looking in, seemed unnecessary in a way. It seemed like an extension of elementary school. It seemed like an obstacle to keep us from high school, a place so overly exaggerated and romanticized in our minds. We were just older, but we were still infants in the uncaring but comforting hands of life. We can't really do anything at our awkward ages, but we are so painfully conscious of what the world says it can offer us. We as a generation have an unparalleled hungry urgency about us. We wish to become older faster. We wish to do things that are beyond us. And that is absolutely okay. It is only human nature. But through the fluttering passion we have for maturity, we lose sight of learning ourselves of learning who we truly are, of learning what makes us happy. <laughs> we forget to enjoy our own company because we are too busy trying to impress everyone around us, our families, our friends, our current or future boyfriend and girlfriends. Even the people in our lives who don't like us or wish happiness for us have a place in our hearts. We forget that in the final hours of our lives, I repeat, our lives, we stand when the sand clock of youth runs thin. We are alone. All the people in our lives we try to impress or try to become won't be with us when we're struggling through life. They won't be there inside of you when you feel helpless because you've wasted an opportunity in your life. They will not be you when you feel you've wasted too much time. They won't. They can't. And they really shouldn't be there when you grasp what you've done with the life you alone were meant to live. You alone are responsible for your life, not your parents, you. So start now. This very moment, you, shouldn't, you should take what your heart feels is useful in what I'm telling you. You have no guarantee of tomorrow. You have no insurance in the fact that you can fix your mistake or start living how you want to live your life after high school. I know that's how I used to think, like, you know, I'm in middle school, I don't have to really live my life. But even now, time is still moving forward. Live life thinking, if I were to die tomorrow, would I truly be happy with what I've done with my life? Would I have lived to my fullest capability? Would I be satisfied knowing I did all I could possibly do to be happy or to make those around me happy? For happiness is a conscious decision. It is not free. It, is, it has no preferred age. It is not given, but pursued feverishly and endlessly. Happiness is not for the weak-hearted because it takes a certain strength to cage the wild bird called happiness. It takes an iron fist and a gentle heart to want happiness for yourself and to keep happiness. When I was writing this speech, I wasn't sure if a 14 or 13 year old would fully understand the message I'm trying to say. But then I realized that's an excuse. Age is an excuse we all love to use. Oh, we're too young to worry about our lives. Oh, we're too young to be ourselves. Oh, we're too young to be real with the people around us. We're too young to learn from our mistakes. We're too young to expect anything short of amazing from ourselves. We are far too young to truly live our lives. And the same goes for anyone in this world of any age as well. Age is truly nothing but a reminder of time used and time wasted. 
I truly hope and pray with all that I am that at the end of high school, at the end of college, at the final end, you can face your own mentality and feel proud and happy that you are who you are. I wish we could all sit here and say, oh, I took every opportunity middle school gave me. I spent it all discovering myself, but even I myself only spent this last year of middle school really doing that, really learning myself. We don't harvest as much as we can from moments like these, moments like middle school, moments of youth and vibrancy, moments when most of, most of us have no real worries in life. All we have to do is be happy and learn from people in our lives that have value and substance, whether that be your parents or your friends. Find those people who add something to you. These transitional moments that build our core as people cannot be relived and should not, but are often wasted. So live, experience high school so intensely that when you leave, your shadow lines the walls for future use to learn from. Love and learn, be and become yourself, because no one in this world can even attempt to understand you and what you have to give this undeserving, yet so desperately in need world. Live through the stages of your life with your heart on your shoulder and a passion in your soul.